Nice jump. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Dumble. Welcome to our New York studios and to CBS Sports continuing coverage of the 2005 NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Tournament. Over the next two nights, we will see the Sweet 16 teams competing in the regional semifinals to earn spots in the Elite Eight. We begin tonight's doubleheader action with number four Louisville challenging top seed Washington in the Albuquerque bracket. And then about 17 minutes after that... Welcome to the West, Albuquerque, New Mexico, as the road to the Final Four continues our first game of the evening. Features the Louisville Cardinals against the Washington Huskies. And the bracket in Albuquerque, the winner of this game advances to the Elite Eight, where they will take on the winner of Texas Tech, West Virginia. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson, along with Len Elmore. Lenny, this could be an up-and-down game. Each of these teams average over 80 points per game. For Washington, number two, Louisville, number six in the nation is scoring. And with a trip to the Elite Eight at stake, you know they're going to kick it up a notch, so don't blink. All right, the head coach of the Cardinals, Rick Pitino, in his third season, won the national title in 1996. A look at his starters. Francisco Garcia has been lighting up the tournament. He's averaging 24 points per game into NCAA games. Lorenzo Romar, the Pac-10 coach of the year, and his Huskies 29 and 5. And take a look at the man in the middle. He's the leading scorer, Nate Robinson, at 16 a game. Maybe the most exciting player in America. Carl Hess, Larry Rose, Frank Scagliata are the officials. This game is brought to you in high definition television by Harris Corporation, the world leader in broadcast systems for high definition TV. And we're underway from Albuquerque. And they will rejump it. So, Lenny, as this one gets ready to begin, what should we pay attention to? Well, I think Louisville obviously can play that fast-paced game, but they've got the ability to slow it down playing this 2-3 zone. And really, Washington has had some difficulty scoring against the zone. But if they can control the boards, the Huskies, they'll be able to get out and run at will. Robinson to Conroy, who's their point guard, does a terrific job distributing the basketball. Robinson, first shot off the mark, loose ball, snatched down by Taekwon D. And as you can see right there, the Huskies take Really no time in getting the shot off. A couple of passes against the zone. In the first round, Louisville beat Louisiana Lafayette 68-62. Second round, they dismantled Georgia Tech 76-54. to And Gus, you take a look at the Husky defense. They overplay. They'll deny forced turnovers like that. That's their game, and they convert the turnovers very efficiently. And for this Washington Husky squad, let's take a look at the keys to the game. Well, Louisville can take a walk to the national title if they can rain threes. They're 18 and 0 when they're hitting 10 or more threes in a game. In Washington, they have to continue to extend and deny on defense, take Louisville out of their rhythm. The Huskies' 29 wins ties their 1983 mark for most wins in the season. Inside, jump shot off the mark by Jones. Both teams a little tight to start this one. Louisville throwing it away on their first trip down. Garcia, who's been terrific, step back jump shot, and a whistle. And that foul called on Simmons, his first. Inside Palacios, forced it up, and Miles grabs it. Taekwon Dean, a 45% three point shooter, knocks down his first shot. And you can see right now, with ball movement, Louisville wants to isolate individuals. They've got guys who can break you down, and they want to be able to take advantage of it. Jensen on the baseline. Rims off. Loose. Jones with the rebound, and he's fouled. Again, for Louisville, they want to hit the threes. Good job right here. Offensive rebound. Inside-out game. 
you know, just a nice job by Dean of flowing into that jump shot. So that sends Bobby Jones, a junior from Compton, California, to the free throw line, averaging 15 points per game in the tournament thus far. Well, Jones is one of those guys who's done a terrific job of improving his three-point shooting. This year, 30 of 59 from beyond the arc. Last year, he was only one of eight. And this is what Jones has done in the first two rounds, 11 points and 19. He was Lorenzo Romar's first recruit at Washington. From Coach Romar's home area of Compton, California. And now Washington sets up full court pressure. And now you see the value of the second chance opportunity. They missed the shot, they got it back, hit free throws. Now they can set up their pressure. Louisville turns it over 14 times per game. They force 17 turnovers. Again, look at the denial, particularly up top. And an offensive foul called. This one against Ellis Miles, setting a screen for Francisco Garcia. Now, those of you expecting to see the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee-Illinois game, we will get you to your tip shortly. 3-2. Jones on the baseline, tripped up, and a blocking foul called against the Cardinals. Again, looking to attack inside against the zone. The mobility of Jones, there you see him just continues to work his way past Miles. Miles took the position, but Jones maintained contact, and that time Miles called for the foul. That was a pretty close situation as Jones continued to push the baseline. So Ellis Miles has two fouls at the 18-minute mark of the first half. Simmons has his shot rejected. And Louisville comes the other way. They've won 11 in a row. Jump shot, no. Miles with the offensive rebound. Pivots on the baseline, nicely done. But Ellis Miles, the team's leading rebounder, third in Conference USA. Been averaging double figures in rebounding the last nine games. And Simmons fouled on the release. You know, the thing about it, he's playing with a fractured thumb. And he just did a nice job there, weak side rebounding, then calmly makes his move on the baseline. He locates the defense. You see him take a peek into the middle and then sees there's nothing on the baseline. Now Rick Pitino allowing Ellis Miles to stay in the game with two fouls. Talked to some of the assistant coaches before the game, and they told me that they really need a big effort from Miles on the box. Well, again, he's the leading rebounder. He's the guy that go gets the errant shots. And let's face it, he's a senior. He's been around. He knows and understands how to play with two fouls this early in the game. It's going to be about discretion. Simmons gets the second, and a couple of subs come in for Washington. Brandon Roy, number three, and Rollins, number four. And although Nate Robinson gets most of the attention for this Washington team, many feel that Brandon Roy has the biggest upside. Well, he is the best all-round player on the team, can score from anywhere, down on the post, as well as beyond the arc. And he's a terrific defender. That's why he's matched up with Francisco Garcia. In the corner, Taekwondo Dean rising fire. Got it. That's his second three of the first half. And Louisville takes an 8-4 lead. And that's how you neutralize pressure. Take him off the bounce, force the help, and kick it to the open man. Louisville averaging 80.7 points per game. Washington, 87 points per game. Now Jones for three. Count it. Bobby Jones, out of Dominguez High School in Compton, makes it a one-point game. Look at Washington, they will definitely put the ball in the basket. No doubt about it, they'll do it quickly. They've got to be able to match the rebounding and the penetration capability of Louisville as Louisville is the one that's probably a little more dynamic defensively. Nate Robinson, high offer. O'Bannon with the rebound. Robinson starts this game over two. Dean the other way. Pulls up at the free throw line blocked from behind by Bobby Jones and he's fouled. Again, this is how you beat pressure. You're going to take a look at Garcia. Drive to the basket. Dean's going to go here. This defender is, should be going back on Dean. But instead, he steps in to help out. And you see Garcia with terrific court vision finds his partner beyond the arc. And you beat pressure that way off the bounce. You're forced to help the collapse. You got open shooters spotting up. So Taekwondo Dean misses the first, and he was the 
Conference USA Tournament MVP as you take a look at what he's done in the first two games. Some consider Taekwon the best shooter in America. He shoots 45% from the field, 45% from the three-point line, ninth in the nation. And he missed a couple of free throws. Well, coming into this game, 108 of his 156 field goals were from beyond the arc. So he's the guy that keeps the defenses on. Robinson off the dribble. Reversal. Roy. Bobby Jones partially blocked, and Garcia picks up a foul. But that was a late whistle, but excellent ball movement by Washington. They're starting to get it against this zone. Those of you expecting to see Wisconsin-Milwaukee versus Illinois, we will get you to your tip shortly. So Francisco Garcia picks up the foul. Bobby Jones will be shooting three free throws. He is behind the line. Jones on the season, a 69% free throw shooter. That's kind of tough standing up there, Bobby Jones. It looks like he's not smooth at all. It's almost like he's wishing the ball in instead of shooting it. And obviously this third one is the one that's most difficult if you go 0 for 2. Missed all three. Both teams a little tight. Oh, seven. Man, Green Jones wiped out by Otis George. And whoever's guarding Otis George for Washington, if I'm Bobby Jones, I have a word with him. You got to let me know where the wall is. George fouled by Nate Robinson. And check out this screen set by Otis George. Bobby Jones running into a, sky, a skyscraper with an elbow. 8 7 Louisville. CBS Sports Line. We've got the tournament covered. Louisville by a point. Watch and listen to this. I tell you what, that's another way to break pressure because anytime you're isolated on the ball handler, the guy guarding the ball for Washington will be turning his head. If you're guarding the screener, you have got to scream out where the pick is to protect your man. So far, Louisville doing a nice job on the boards. They're plus five with 15.51 to go in the first half. Those of you expecting to see Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Illinois will get you there as soon as it starts. Taekwondo, Dean, George, Palacios, O'Bannon, and Garcia, and a foul of the baseline. And that is the second foul on Robinson. So Nate Robinson has two for Washington. Ellis Miles with two for Louisville. Well, again, Louisville, against this pressure, needs to continue to attack off the bounce. You get a good spread of the floor, force the help to come. That'll open up some shooters. Larry O'Bannon. Garcia, step back jump shot. Ripped out of the air by Joel Smith. Francisco Garcia could have been a little more patient on that one. Reflected out of bounds, we will head the other way. And the official reverses the ball. And it's deflected out of bounds by Washington. So there's Lorenzo Romar. What a season, 29 and five, one of the best in the history of this Washington program. Looking for 30 wins for the first time in school history. Again, you look at Will Conroy as he was guarding Taekwon Dean, kept turning his head, and that keeps him from applying the pressure that he would like. Garcia throws it out of bounds and will head the other way. Now, near the end of tonight's game, we will select the Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each school's general scholarship fund, Chevy and American Revolution. Herky jerky start for both teams as Washington starts one of six, Louisville three of eight. Well, the game is pretty physical, and for teams that like to go up and down, they don't want to play 
a bump and grind sort of half court. Louisville sports that for Washington on the offensive end with the 2 3. Washington not really getting it done the way they would like, and they're starting to move the ball and feel a lot better for themselves in this particular trip. Inside, Williams short. Track down, Joel Smith. Huskies get a new shot clock. Offensive rebounding always helps against the zone. No call. Rollins wanted a whistle. Fourteen thirty-three to play in the first half. Louisville with an eight-seven lead. A one versus a four. Washington, the top seed here in Albuquerque. Garcia, the basket floating, gets the bounce. Again, we've mentioned it before. It is off the bounce that you beat this pressure. You get a spread floor. You got opportunities. Nicely done, Conroy. Seeing Jamal Williams. But Will Conroy, the top 20 in the nation in assists, he understands how to break defense. At that time, he threw over the 2-3 zone. Will Conroy reminds me a lot of Ed Watson, who played at UCLA a few years back, now in Memphis with the Grizzlies. And he's really sacrificed his offensive game to get other teammates involved. Well, Earl Watson came to UCLA as a tremendous scorer and was converted to a point guard. And, you know, he obviously has done extraordinarily well since he's still playing on another level. But at the end of the day, Conroy is absolutely one of those guys that looks to pass first, get people involved. And as I said, a terrific defender, but he can't apply the pressure he wants because he remembers that screen that was set a few possessions ago. See, what Washington is doing, they're taking away the three straight up by extending their defense. And Louisville has to take it off the bounce. That's how he missed by it. Roy glides to the basket. Joel Smith with the steal on the other end. And Washington takes an 11-10 lead. And against Washington, you have to stay away from the open floor turnovers because they're terrific in transition. 13-27 to go in the first half. Huskies by one. Well, obviously they've lost two, but that Arizona Wildcats-Oklahoma State game should match up pretty much like this one. High-scoring offenses wanting to run up and down. But in this particular game, you talk about tempo. Louisville has done a nice job of controlling the tempo. They don't want to run with Lorenzo Romar and his team. They've been able to set up that zone and really slow the pace. Lorenzo Romar's Huskies 29 and 5, their best record since 1938. What a job he's done in Seattle. Here's Taekwon Dean along with Wade, George, Garcia, and Miles. Miles playing with two fouls. Inside, George can't hold on. Bumbles it out of bounds. But George did a nice job of reading the switch down low, and he stepped up and got the ball. But as you mentioned, he's fumbling it around. His timing obviously off because he's missed a lot of time, and his time has been limited because of that stress fracture in his foot. Five turnovers for the Cardinals. Roy, Simmons, Williams, Smith, and Jensen. Because you see the zone right now really making Washington get very patient. They're not very comfortable doing it either. They would rather push it, kick it, and go after it. Nice rebound inside. Jamal Williams. Well, that's, it the up and in. that's the going after it part. Put it up on the board. And you got people who can rebound offensively. Jamal Williams transfer from New Mexico here in Albuquerque. He's from Corona, California. Joel Smith straight to the basket and he misses the layup. Boy, he got the twigs in between. Didn't know if he wanted to dunk it or lay it up. Alice Miles can't get the bounce. George offensive rebound, got it, and the foul. Again, when you're going down the floor, you got to attack. First, there's the pocket pick, and then trying to bring it home. He keeps an eye on the defender and really never decides what he wants to do. And then a tremendous job offensive rebounding as George fights his way through. Louisville playing more of a physical type of game on both ends of the glass. Otis George, the numbers, Louisville 31 and 4. As Simmons picked up his second foul. Cardinals 14 and 2 in Conference USA. They won the regular season and the tournament championship. Cardinals have won 20 of their last 21 inside. 
Loose ball, tapped around, and another foul coming up. We'll sort it out after this. 11.55 to play in the first half. Huskies by one. Under 10 grand. Come on. Chevy Aveo, an American revolution. Lorenzo Romar's Huskies up by one here in the first half. He was concerned about a couple of things when we talked to him yesterday. Well, the first thing he was concerned about, again, was Louisville's ability to make the three. We told you that they're 18 and 0 when they make 10 or more three point field goals in a game. And right now they've only made two. And I think the extended defense has really gotten in the face of Louisville, not allowing them a wide open shot. And Louisville throws it away. Seven turnovers for the Cardinals to start this game. For a second, they were four on five on four. Eleven thirty-seven to play in the first half, and Washington leads Louisville fifteen twelve. And you talk about an athletic offensive rebound, Brandon Roy hitting the gap against that zone with a nice putback. Jenkins in now, the young man out of Pershing High School in Detroit. And again, look how far out the Washington defense is extended. Everybody is following the black shirts out there. Garcia turns it over again. Here comes Williams. And it's knocked out of bounds by Palacios. All right, let's take a look at the game summary. Washington shooting 31%, Louisville 46%. However, the Cardinals have turned it over eight times. And Washington also staying in the game from the free throw line. And again, defensively, they've done a, they've done a nice job of limiting Louisville's looks from beyond the arc. Here's Roy working inside. Can't get the bounce, Miles, with the rebound. Washington 5 of 16 from the field. 29%, make it 5 of 17. Inside, O'Bannon posting. And there in the man-to-man -man is the liability. Talk about uh, Nate Robinson and all the wonderful things he can do, but he's still only 5'9". And that time, Larry O'Bannon at 6'4", made the mismatch work. O'Bannon averaging 18 points a game over his last seven. Robinson a three, and he's fouled behind the line and will go to the free throw line to shoot three. And that's got to drive Rick Patino crazy, fouling the three-point shooter. Louisville again, allowing Washington to have this lead and stay in the game because of the turnovers. Not really handling the Washington pressure as well as Rick Patino would like. So that sends little Nate Robinson to the line. He's listed at 5'9". <laughs> Listed at 5'9". We try to say Gus, <laughs> but he may be about 5'7 and a half. And that's the second time Louisville has fouled a three-point shooter. CBS Sports Line keeps you on top of all of the men's NCAA tournament action. Get real-time bracket updates and expert picks for each regional semifinal game. It's all at CBSSportsLine.com. I saw you standing next to him yesterday. I was looking down. That's right, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Not by much, though. You'll get your shot in any time <laughs> you can, man. <laughs> hey, but he is a dynamo, as we mentioned before. 17 points a game. Shoots beyond the arc, about 40%. Big-time playmaker. You know, you need a bucket down the stretch. Makes plays. So Robinson adds the free throw. Huskies with their largest lead so far, 18-14. Does this score surprise you? Uh, no, it doesn't surprise me. What surprises me, though, is that Louisville is turning the ball over. I mean, Washington's pressure D is a strong one, but Louisville's a pretty good ball-handling team. They only average 14 turnovers a game. Skip pass O'Bannon, frees himself with a pump fake, and banks it in. And that's an old-school move. That's fundamentally sound. He got the angle. Meanwhile, Williams is there. Pull it pass, and he jams it down. Palacios tracking it down. Knocked out of bounds by Jamal Williams. So Francisco and Nate not doing a whole lot to start. Well, it was obviously limited. Nate Robinson limited by fouls. His aggressiveness is gone. And Francisco Garcia has been really pressured. And even though he's made a couple plays off the bounce, I think Rick Pitino wanted him to sit down, gain some perspective as to what he's playing against. Now he's back in the ball game. You can expect him to be more assertive. Garcia has only attempted two shots. 
One of two from the field. Inside, O'Bannon. And it's raked out of the air by Bobby Jones. And that's another thing Washington has done now. They've been able to match Louisville on the glass. Draw a beautiful left-hand layup. And you notice, make or miss, Washington starting to push the ball. You know, Louisville wants to answer, but that's not their game. That's why they've been playing the zone. That's why they've been trying to control the tempo. Washington is slowly but surely snatching that tempo back. Washington with 12 points off the bench. Will take a 22-16 lead. O'Bannon hard across the lane. Inside, Miles had to change his shot. He was right underneath the basket. Here comes Conroy. Great passer. And a foul on the floor on O'Bannon. We talked about Washington looking to push the ball, make or miss. And they want to get spread floor. They want to beat the zone down the floor. I think that's one of the things they talked about in their huddle in the last time out. You don't like playing against the 2-3, push it up the floor and beat them back. So Will Conroy at the line. Cardinals over the limit. That's their 17 foul. As Conroy makes the first. Second, Taekwon Dean brings it down. Dean Miles Garcia stops behind Marlon Short. Again, not a good shot by Francisco Garcia. You gotta have a little more patience than just a pull-up three. That was with the defense set. And a whistle and foul, and that's on uh, Nate Robinson, his third. And Robinson can't believe it. Take a look right here down low. Garcia trying to get position. And I don't know, once you reach over a defender's shoulder, I think that's the offensive player's foul. Now, obviously, Francisco Garcia got away with it. Maybe the official didn't catch it until he was pushed down. But once you try to swim move, that's a point of emphasis, essentially, down in the block. And the officials are supposed to call it against the offensive player who's attempting to swim move. Garcia has been compared to a younger version of Reggie Miller, the great UCLA star. And on the sideline is Reggie Theus, who scored about 19,000 points in pro <laughs> basketball. And he's taught Francisco a number of those old uh, pro tricks. Well, that's why I was laughing, because Reggie Theus was a consummate offensive player, knew every little trick in the book, got a shot off, tremendous player. Not only in, on that next level, but in college as well at UNLV. Terrific score. Here's Roy to the basket. What an athlete. Trent Johnson, the head coach at Stanford, said Roy is unguardable. Palacios the other way, knocked out of his hands and out of bounds, and the Huskies get it back. Louisville playing very tentative right now. Palacios just kind of took it very easy going up to the basket. The flip side of it is that Washington is just totally attacking. Doesn't matter whether it's 2-3 or full court pressure. Roy. And a whistle. Traveling violation. Called against Rollins. 25-18 Huskies. Now George back in the end of the game. And Rick Patino recognizes Ellis Miles getting a little tired. And when you're tired, you commit fouls. This is to keep Miles from picking up his third. So it is George back in the ball game. Garcia, rising and fire. Short. George, offensive rebound. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Louisville. Garcia has had success putting the ball on the floor and going to the basket, but it seems right now he's just settling for the three. And as we, you and I discussed during warm-ups, we watched him warm up, and he was having difficulty putting them down from beyond the arc in warm-ups. Ironically, he was really long on his shots during warm-ups. And now short. Here in the first half, Francisco won a four from the field. He may be pressing a bit. Tracks it down on the baseline. Looks inside, batted out of bounds by Joel Smith. 7.40 to play first half. Huskies, the number one seed in Albuquerque, with the lead. Hey. Washington with a 25-18 lead here in the first half. 
Well, again, Washington now starting to assert themselves. They forced Louisville out of the 2-3 when they started to move the ball, get it inside, get it back outside, and then throw over it. And, of course, Louisville then applied a full-court press, which Washington broke very easily. So right now, Louisville a bit befuddled as to how to stop Washington. On the offensive end, the Cardinals are settling for too many quick shots. Francisco Garcia looking for the three more so than looking to explore the defense. And I think that plays right in to the Huskies' hands. Watch for Taekwon Dean. He hasn't taken a shot in the last nine minutes after hitting his first two threes. Louisville got off to a quick start. Eight points in the first two minutes. Dean. 7.29 to go in the first half. Huskies with a 25-21 lead over the Cardinals. Well, Louisville got off to a quick start in the first two minutes and 44 seconds, eight points. But in the last nine plus minutes, they've only scored 10 points as Washington's denial defense has done a terrific job not only denying passes and forcing Louisville out of the rhythm, but keeping the three-pointers at a minimum. Conroy to Roy down the lane. This kid is a terrific athlete, and he's not even a starter. And his Ten teammates, points in the first half. And his teammates are doing a great job of moving the ball, getting into that sweet spot against the 2-3 zone, and Brandon Roy can work. A junior from Seattle. Garcia, O'Bannon can stroke it. And a rebound to George. Taekwon Dean off the dribble now. The kick, Palacios, pure. And that's the way, as I mentioned before, in the first three minutes of the game, first 244, that's where Louisville had attacked the pressure. Then they went away for it from, for a moment. And now they're back to it, as that was very rhythmic. Knocked away and stolen by Garcia. And he tells Taekwon Dean to come back and get it. Garcia bounce pass to Palacios, who fumbles it again. Once again, it's off the bounce. You're going to dribble in here, and you're going to see the ability of the defenders to step up and stop. And then there's a shooter wide open. You got four guys in the paint after you drive the ball. And ultimately, you're going to find shooters. Louisville went away from that and started shooting three-pointers, and it's really hurt them, and now they've gotten the momentum back and the formula back. However, the Cardinals have turned it over nine times. They average 14 turnovers per game on the season. And Washington gives it away, their fifth turnover. Taekwon Dean, three threes in the first half. He's dangerous off the dribble as well. Palacios, a three. Got it. And we've got a one-point game here in Albuquerque. Don't forget, the winner of this game takes on the winner of our next game between Tech and West Virginia. The General makes an appearance in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 94. Trey Simmons gets stroke at two. That's a three. 30 to 26. Both these teams starting to heat up a little bit. This is the way we expected the game to go. O'Bannon, the kick, Garcia takes a picture and hits. And all day to set his feet. See the difference in taking those types of threes as, to the, as opposed to the one passing three is night and day. Garcia much more accurate. O'Bannon, Palacios, these guys are getting penetrated and then kicked. They step into the shot. Roy tipping it around. Who wants it? Bobby Jones tipped again. Roy got a hand on it. Louisville can't rebound. They finally do. Four shots at the basket for the Huskies. Garcia off the dribble. The runner. Bobby Jones. Otis George pulls it in. High altitude here in Albuquerque. How will it affect these players? Well, they look like they're dragging a little bit. Hands on their hips. That's a sign of fatigue. One point game. Washington, the top seed in Albuquerque. Louisville, the number four.
And the Huskies hold on to a one-point lead. Under four minutes to play in the first half. And you look at Lorenzo Romar again. He's urging his team to continue playing hard. He's got to like the way they've been playing defense. They finally figured out the Louisville zone. And you got to expect Louisville to make a run. Louisville, one of the top scoring teams in the nation. If the question is whether you can withstand that run and continue on. Taekwon Dean at the line. Game tied at 30 apiece, under four minutes to play in the first half. Washington, the top seed here in Albuquerque. Louisville seeded number four. Well, Louisville has been able to get back into the ball game after Washington had taken a, a pretty significant lead, 16 points. They've been able to do it with a three-point shot. Coming up on singular at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis will get you updated on all of the latest tournament news, plus a live look at Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and Illinois, and a singular Naismith update. That's all coming up on singular at the half. Taekwon Dean has really heated up. 11 points on three or four shooting in the first half. Game tied as Dean gives Louisville a one point lead, and now Washington takes it back. 32 31, eight points for Jamal Williams. Washington just making a concerted effort to get it out of the basket or off the glass and push it up the floor. Now Washington goes to his own. Garcia. It's their version of the 2 3. And Francisco Garcia looks at it and says, I know that. I've seen that before. Francisco with 10 points in the first half. Jamal Williams dribbles it off of his foot. O'Bannon in heavy traffic. And he turns it over. Joel Smith. Williams can't lay it in. And a nice rebound by O'Bannon. We talked about both teams kicking it up a notch. Well, that's what they're doing right now. It's actually working to their detriment. Is it going a bit too fast? O'Bannon should have pulled up and waited for his teammates, and that was a quick shot, no rebound. Garcia again. Count it. Washington's going to have to get out that zone because now Francisco Garcia has his shooting eye back. And he has three threes in the first half. You're absolutely right, Gus. They were successful with the extended man. They go to zone. They've gotten Garcia lit up. Inside offensive foul on Jamal Williams. Louisville with a 37 to 32 lead. And Washington in some foul trouble. Two of their starters have three fouls. Trey Simmons and Nate Robinson. Lorenzo Romar calls timeout. Dance all night to this DJ. Louisville's on a 16-5 run over the last three minutes and 57 seconds, and they've hit four threes during this time. And it's not coincidental that Washington starts to go to a zone, they lose the extended man, and they give some daylight to the Louisville shooters. And that's a mistake that you make when you give Francisco Garcia particularly some confidence. The man, extended man-to-man -man took away a lot of his confidence. You can tell walking back to the huddle, he had his shrugged shoulders, really didn't feel he was part of the game. Well, he's got a new life now. Taekwon Dean to Brandon Jenkins. And Jenkins is fouled. So Lorenzo Romar, a self-made basketball player, played at Washington, somehow managed to muster up a five-year NBA career. You played against him in pro basketball. Yeah, we had some interaction. I was a, an old veteran on one team, and he was a very talkative rookie on another. Great guy. And you talk about coming up the ranks. You know, he spent time, obviously, at Pepperdine, at St. Louis, and at Washington as a head coach. And he was also the head coach, player coach, of Athletes in Action. So he has paid his dues, no question about it. Deserves to be where he is. and deserves every bit of the success that he's had. Recently rewarded with an eight-year contract extension. Jenkins makes it a 39-32 game, approaching the two-minute mark of the first half. Cardinals on an 18-5 run. Deflected, stolen by Jenkins. Eight turnovers for Washington in the first half. Garcia inside. Johnson got on the foul. And you can tell right now, Louisville is rolling, full of confidence. They're brimming 
as against this extended defense once again Garcia feeling a lot better about himself making plays there's another angle for the drive draws the defenders and his teammates are really spotting up nicely so that he can find them with the pass Karen Johnson has the free throw and coming up at halftime we will let you look in on that Wisconsin Milwaukee game as they take on Illinois Louisville has scored 11 straight points. Jensen squares up. Loose ball. And Francisco Garcia, after a slow start, has really started to light it up. Well, he certainly has, and it took that zone, really, to get him started. Got off to a nice start early, and then was invisible for a while until Washington went zone, allowed Garcia to spot up in areas where he's comfortable, and he's buried some jump shots, and that really gave him back his confidence, and now he's doing it all. And his partner in the backcourt, Taekwon Dean, with 11 points, five rebounds. High pick and roll, Garcia dribbles it off of his foot right into the hands of Jenkins, and he was getting ready to pull the trigger again. Ten to shoot. Garcia hops to the bucket. Palacios there and one. Lorenzo Romar said he was worried about offensive rebounding from Louisville, and it's a legitimate concern. Well, especially off the bounce. Garcia drives, and you take a look at the help coming, and when your man is the help, you do what Juan Palacios did. You go straight to the front of the rim. Seven offensive rebounds for Louisville in the first half. Palacios big and strong. Averages nine rebounds a game in the last five. Doing a great job offensively. Adds the free throw, and the Cardinals take a 45 to 32 lead. Inside Roy. Louisville on a 14-0 run. Uh, but Roy will go to the line. And it's been a very tough first half for Washington. That's because two of their starters, Nate Robinson, Trey Simmons, both picked up three fouls in the first half. Yeah, but they've still gotten opportunities. Here's Roy. Missed the first. Coming next month to CBS. Thousands of years ago, insects ruled the earth. Now they want it back. Locusts invading CBS in April. See, despite Simmons and Robinson being on the bench, Washington still had opportunities on the offensive glass. They had some wide open shots that their replacements have the ability to make. They just haven't done it. And it's really the defensive end where they've gotten burned as Louisville really starting to attack again. And particularly it started against the zone and it's carried forward against the man. Louisville 15 of 29 from the field, 51%. They're 7 of 13 from the three point line, 54%. Bannon hard down the baseline. And a foul coming up uh, against the Huskies. And when you're the aggressor, you're going to get the calls. You look at the tight man to man. You know, Conroy doing a nice job, but O'Bannon continues to get that shoulder into Conroy's chest, makes the contact, and just forces the issue. And when, as I said, when you're aggressive, the officials usually go your way. Conroy picks up his first. O'Bannon. Louisville is the only conference US team USA team remaining. Yep, you look at Cincinnati and Charlotte, they went down. The, the Blazers, a surprise, they went down as well. And so Louisville left to represent on their own. And this is their last year in Conference USA as they move to the Big East next year. 47 to 33. Cardinals just exploding. Here in the first half. Conroy. Washington looking a little dejected on the floor right now. Bobby Jones and Conroy play catch with him. But as quickly as they score, they're just going to make some adjustments at halftime. They've got the ability to get back into this ball game because they know how to put it in the basket. Roy drives baseline. The kick. Conroy, three to shoot down low. Williams and Conroy with a great look. And that will be the end of the first half with the score. Cardinals 47, Huskies 35. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York.
All right, go. Edition unlike any other, The Masters on CBS. 47-35 Louisville at halftime. Gus Johnson along with Len Elmore. Louisville had it going at the end of the first half. Well, they certainly did. And what Washington has to do right now, go back to the extended defense, cover the three-point shooters. Louisville with 7 of 13 from beyond the arc. And also, they've got to get Trey Simmons and Nate Robinson in the offense quickly. They both have three fouls. All right, let's take a look at our Mazda first half statistics. Well, you look again, Washington 39% from the field, and Louisville seven three-point field goals. We mentioned before, 18 and 0 when they make 10 or more in a game. We'll return to Albuquerque after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching CBS Sports, exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Forty seven thirty five Louisville leading top seeded Washington at halftime. Gus Johnson Len Elmore with you as we prepare for the second half Francisco Garcia got hooking at the end of the first half. Well he certainly did again the zone slowed him down. Uh, well actually the man to man slowed him down and the zone perked him up. He was able to hit a couple of threes. We're ready to start the second half with Louisville leading at 47 to 35 a one versus a four Washington in foul trouble two of their starters Trey Simmons Nate Robinson playing with three and certainly Louisville able to take advantage of that by again attacking on offense Nate Robinson off the glass no and it's taken away Bobby Jones and he's fouled Louisville developed an awful lot of momentum as Washington was forced to go to a zone and Francisco Garcia really took advantage hitting some threes that got his confidence up and Louisville began to attack that Washington defense regardless of what they put out there Louisville able to convert Miles picked up his third foul as Jones gets the first one here's the most important piece of information Washington led the game 23 16 then Nate Robinson picked up his third foul from that point on Louisville went on a 31 to 12 run and the significance of that obviously we talked about this the emotional letdown having one of your best guys on the bench with three fouls but just as importantly the turnover situation Louisville with 10 points off of eight Washington turnovers seven of those turnovers from Washington were created by guys off the bench trying to fill the shoes of Nate Robinson here comes Robinson along with Simmons Jones, ball tipped up and in, looking like Simmons got a hand on it, or Jensen. And in about seven or eight minutes, we will take you guys back to the Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Illinois game. Well, again, look at Washington going back to their bread and butter, extended defense, had a lot of success in the beginning of the first half. Taekwon Dean has been terrific from the three-point line. His fourth three of the game. Here's the bracket in Albuquerque. The winner takes on the winner of our next game between Texas Tech and West Virginia. Inside, Jensen hopping and knocks one down. Tell you what, Mike Jensen, normally a face-up shooter, not really a guy with a penchant for back to the basket, but with his size, he's got to take advantage of that paint. The Washington starters in the first half were a combined two of 11 from the field. That's what I mean by Nate Robinson being out with foul trouble. Didn't hurt them as much offensively as it did with regard to ball handling. Will Conroy, the only guy out there really able to hand the ball. Inside, Palacios lays it in. Nice pass by Ellis Miles. Well, Ellis Miles, a terrific passer again. You know, he's the kind of guy, he had a triple-double this year, 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. He's kind of a conduit for that Louisville offense. 115 assists on the season. Robinson can't get it to fall. Nate Robinson really struggling to find his rhythm. He only has three points in this game. He's the leading scorer for the Huskies at 16 to flip. Another bad decision by Francisco Garcia trying to thread the needle. Says it and Jones and Garcia got tangled up in there. And again, Louisville has made this a physical game in the paint. Tipped around. Conroy can't hold on on the sideline. 
And let's take a look at the backcourt for Washington. Well, they're two leading scorers again, having some trouble, slowed by foul trouble. And when you're in foul trouble and you get back in the ball game, you play a little tentatively. You don't want to pick up that extra foul. Both of these guys will put it on the floor, particularly Robinson, and go to the basket. Simmons more of a three-point shooter, but it has a tendency, foul trouble does, to really take away your aggressiveness. And that makes you tentative in trying to get things done, particularly on the offensive end. And a foul. Miles putting it on the floor. Fifty-two forty. Rick Pitino's Cardinals with the lead over Washington. Inside Palacios travel. Louisville making a concerted effort now to get the ball inside as much as they can because of the foul trouble against Washington. You take a look right here at the situations there. Not only that foul trouble on the perimeter, but also inside with Williams and with Roy. How do the Huskies get their flow back and get into this game? Well, they're going to have to, again, do some work on the boards. They're going to have to get second chance opportunities. A three helps. Second chance opportunities allow them to run, and they've got to limit Louisville on their possessions to one and done so they can get out and run. Now there's a kid, Will Conroy, who just hit the three-pointer that may need to be more of an offensive threat in the second half. He gave up his offensive game to get other players involved and run the true point guard position, but he can score the ball. O'Bannon off the dribble. Inside, Palacios, easy layup. Uh, too easy inside. Again, when you're trying to climb back from a deficit, you don't want to give up point blank shots. Williams off the mark, out of bounds. And this one goes against Louisville. Access NCAA March Madness on demand for live video regional semifinal games outside of your viewing area. Plus, get live team press conferences and archives of all games. It's only at NCAAsports.com or CSTV.com. You look at the field goal percentages in the shooting this half. Again, when you're not hitting, as Washington is shooting obviously below 50%, you want to be able to get second chance opportunities, score, and then set up your pressure. Conroy off the dribble, the floater, and he's got his second basket of the second half. Six points now for Will Conroy, the senior from Seattle. And here comes that full court pressure, man to man. Louisville with three ball handlers in O'Bannon, Garcia, and Dean. Garcia on an angle banks it home. Not a whole lot that Brandon Roy could do with that. He cut him off. Forced Garcia to go laterally, but Garcia has that nice bank shot, one running, one hander. Conroy off the mark, Francisco Garcia with 15 points. He's averaging 24 in the first two rounds of the tournament. At 27 in their opening round game against Louisiana Lafayette, 24 against Georgia Tech. Here's Francisco, quick release. Yeah. He is stroking it now, the kid from the Bronx. 59-45, Louisville. And if Washington was distressed before, a little down in the mouth about their fortunes, that kind of three really makes them sad because that was long range. And again, you got a defender on him, he's still able to make them. Miles fouling Roy on the box, his fourth, but it's all moving right now. 59 45, 14 45 to go in the second. Hughes, Boston College, four seeds gone. Shining moments, look at Julius Hodge, the senior. His team needed him to make a play down the stretch, and he got it done. You know, that's what it's all about, that senior experience. Hail Julius. Inside, Jamal Williams, jump hook. Jamal Williams having a very solid game, 12 points. He averages 10 on the season. But it's been the combination of Garcia and Dean, each player with four threes. Again, it bears repeating. Louisville 18 and 0, and they make 10 or more three-point field goals in a game, and they're well on their way to that number. There's Rick Pitino. What a career it's been for him, going back to Providence, Kentucky, where he won the national title. Taekwondo Dean, too strong. Conroy in transition. The kick. Roy back to Conroy. Defense! 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 Defense!
Williams again. Can't get his own rebound. Miles, a strong rebound inside. And that's where those second chance opportunities come into play. The white shirts have to compete. Seven rebounds for Miles. Garcia to the pass for the big fella. And Francisco Garcia keeping the big fella's hands full. Sunday on a new gold case, the only way to catch a killer is for a detective to become the next victim. Don't miss a new episode Sunday on CBS. That's what John Lucas said about you. He used to always keep your hands full. That's because John did exactly what Francisco Garcia did. Made himself a threat early in the ball game. Drew defenders. And we just found the open spots where he could see it. Miles at the line. And Ellis, a senior from Compton, California. Don't forget the winner of this game takes on the winner of our next game between the Generals, Bob Knight, as he takes on the West Virginia Mountaineers. And what a contrast. You know, you don't want to go away from this game because I think there are a lot of more fireworks to go with both teams liking the run. But that second game, you talk about control tempo. Two coaches who've really studied their trade and really have a handle on offensive basketball in the half court. And Bob Knight and John Beeline of West Virginia. Roy squares up. Halfway down, Bob Dobbs, Tyquan Dean. He's doing a terrific job rebounding. That's his sixth rebound in this game. And he's a guard. You take a look at who's running the point now for Louisville, Francisco Garcia. Starting to get the offense going. Tyquan Dean pulls from downtown. Simmons. Nate Robinson still looking for his first field goal. He has three points. Inside, Roy has it partially blocked. Rebounded Jamal Williams, who bangs it home. Jamal Williams, the only consistent scorer in the starting lineup. And he's the guy that's done a terrific job, again, with second chance points. And they need, Washington needs more of those. Jamal, 14 points, four rebounds. Garcia pulls up from deep. That's when you're feeling it right there. And that's also when you got the green light. Roy the other way. Kick. Simmons can fire too. Now, Trey Simmons is a terrific three-point shooter. Knocks it down there. 60 to 52. Whoa. All right, Greg, Louisville with a 60 to 52 lead. At one time, the Cardinals led by 14, 59 to 45, but now a manageable deficit for this Washington team. Well, absolutely, they're a quick strike type of ball team. And the bottom line is they create some turnovers, they get out in the open floor, they string together some stops, they can score on you quickly. Roy picked up his third foul and another whistle on the baseline. And that goes against Roy, his fourth. Well, Brandon Roy has to realize once he had three, he put his hands on Miles, and that was a mistake. You got to use discretion. Three fouls, you got to be less aggressive, maybe take position away instead of attacking the ball defensively. Oh, Bannon, another foul against Washington as he knocks one down on the baseline. Ten point lead for the Cardinals. Simmons has now picked up his fourth. Washington in all kinds of foul trouble. Lorenzo Romar not happy with the way this game is being officiated right now. Well, he's displeased with some of the close calls against his main guys. You take a look at this one on Simmons where he draws his fourth. There's some contact there. I'm not so sure that Larry O'Bannon didn't create the contact by breaking the plane. Simmons maybe just a little bit too close with three fouls. That was his fourth. And now you look at Simmons, Roy with four, Robinson with three. That's a tough situation for the Huskies to be in. But how have the Cardinals been able to draw fouls the way they've been doing it so far? Well, again, their team is very smart. They will draw the contact, and once they get contact, they will keep the contact. Even if the defender tries to get away and avoid it, they maintain contact and continue to go to the basket. O'Bannon misses the free throw. The votes are in, and you, the viewers, have spoken. Find out which was chosen as your all-time favorite episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Don't miss TV's number one comedy, Monday on CBS. 
62-52. Louisville. Cardinals in the zone. Williams. Smith. And a whistle inside. Eleven thirty-six to play in the second half. Louisville with a 62 to 52 lead over top seeded Washington here in Albuquerque. And the Washington Huskies with an uphill battle as they try to close this deficit. And you take a look again at Jamal Williams with the basket inside. They're trying to close this deficit with their main guys in foul trouble. Brandon Roy, Trey Simmons both with four. Nate Robinson with three. Yet to close the deficit, they have to play aggressive defense and hit the offensive glass. Areas of the game where you pick up your fouls. Jamal Williams, the junior from Corona, California for Washington, has 16 off the bench. Miles with the offensive rebound. Now he backs his man down across the lane. Got it. And a look at the bracket. The winner of this game takes on the winner of our next game between Texas Tech and West Virginia. Ten-point lead for Louisville. Cardinals have led by as many as 14. And against the 2-3 zone, this is where you got to make a concerted effort to hit the offensive glass. You've got gaps that you can attack if you're Washington. So take a look at the foul trouble for Washington. Simmons and Roy both with four. Robinson with three, Williams with three, and Jones has two. As Nate Robinson goes to the line, he's 0 for 5 this evening. Only three points all coming at the line. And Nate Robinson having a little bit of difficulty getting shots against the taller backcourt of Louisville. You know, you're talking about Larry O'Bannon at 6'4", Taekwon Dean at 6'3", and of course Francisco Garcia at 6'7". And when they play that zone, they're long, and they've got quickness for cover the shooters, so Robinson really not in a position to get open shots. Robinson picked up his third foul at the 8.51 mark of the first half, did not return to the game after being taken out. And during that time, Louisville went on a 31-12 run. Taekwon D. And a foul over the back should go against the Cardinals. Let's take a look what, at what Robinson and Simmons have done today. Well, again, Trey Simmons able to get a little bit of offense going, but not close to his season average. And we just talked about Nate Robinson's difficulties. A lot of it has to do with his size and the fact that he's playing against his own. That foul was picked up by Conroy, his third. Here come the Huskies. Conroy with the ball inside. Beautiful shot. And Williams misses the layup and will head the other way. Come in. Here in an attempt to attack inside against that zone. And everybody going after the ball there. Collision. Take a look at Williams again. Going, missing the easy layup. And Williams tries to go after it and really undercuts his teammate Jones. You know, that's plain hustle, but sometimes obviously it works against you. And I just hope that Bobby Jones will get up off the deck okay. Actually, I don't think that's Bobby Jones. No? I think that I'm may sorry. be Jamal Williams. Bobby Jones did get up. And Jamal Williams has been terrific in this game. That 16 Williams. points. Williams is actually the one in going after the ball that created the undercut system and situation and he got the worst of it. Bobby Jones and Larry O'Bannon exchanging words at the end of the play. Take another look at what happened. Again Williams misses the layup a little too quick and there he goes after it and. But overall Jamal Williams has been the guy that's really helped keep the Huskies in the ball game. Post up moves, second chance opportunities. He's been a strength around the basket for the Washington Huskies. Averages 10 a game and he's got 16 tonight on 8 of 16 shooting, 6 rebounds also. Well he was second in the Pac-10 in field goal percentage and you can see why. He takes high percentage shots and really works hard on both ends of the floor underneath the basket. 64-55. Louisville trying to advance to the Elite Eight. O'Bannon 
Guarded by Smith, turns it over. Here's Nate Robinson, and Robinson will get his first field goal as the 5'9 man jams it down. And when Nate Robinson jams, the rest of his team gets a lift. He is the catalyst on this Washington team. Now they're playing like they have life. Team. They've really extended that defense right now. That's the success they had in the first half. Oh, that'll quiet down. Taekwon Dean, an effortless three-point shooter. Inside her eyes. Beautiful look. 67-59. And Gus, I'm really surprised that, surprised that Washington, after makes by Louisville, doesn't continue to push the ball up the floor. They've had success in beating the defense down as they did just then. 67-59, Garcia. That's four threes in this game. O'Bannon. Rips off Miles. Rips it down. Palacios wide open, and the rebound goes to Smith. Huskies trying to get closer right here. And you can feel the energy start to shift. Jensen. Inside, Rollins again. 67 61. Washington fans are in this one now. Dean off the dribble. Palacios to the bucket. We mentioned in the first half, that's how you beat the pressure. Spread the floor, take them off the bounce, and if they're not going to help, take it all away. And if the Huskies help, find the open shooter with a kick out. Louisville gets back into the 2-3 zone. It's caused Washington some problems. Ball batted out of bounds by O'Bannon. It's caused Nate Robinson as many problems as anyone. You see the dead ball situation. Lorenzo Romar steps out on the floor, and he's reminded by the official that uh, he can't do that. <laughs> Have to stay on the sideline. Coach Romar, terrific role model. Mentor to these guys, Smith. Dean with the rebound. Lead pass, O'Bannon. And he's fouled. Good foul by Conroy. He will make O'Bannon earn it at the line. 7.51 to play in the second half. Cardinals up 69-61. Sixty-nine, sixty-one. Louisville. Lorenzo Romar trying to help his squad get back into this game. They've trailed by as many as 14. They've been in all kinds of foul trouble. Two of his guys have four. 69-61. Louisville leading Washington. 7.51 to play in the second half. O'Bannon at the line gets the first and the duo of Taekwon Dean and Francisco Garcia have been deadly from downtown. Well, they certainly have. They've taken turns in penetrating and kicking out to the shooters. And that's really how they were able to stymie Washington in the first half. After Washington did a nice job of turning them over and making Louisville uncomfortable, they finally decided to spread the floor a little bit and attack that man-to-man uh, -man as well as his own Washington threw up. Lead back up to 10 for Louisville. Robinson off the dribble to the basket, and he draws the foul. And man, you talk about attacking the rim. You know, at 5'9", look at Nate Robinson. He was about to dunk that ball. He didn't let go of it. He didn't use the board. He was going straight to the 10. Palacios picks up his third. Nate Robinson, only one field goal in this game. He averages 16 points per game on the year. Leading scorer on this Washington Huskies team. Next Thursday, Survivor returns to its regular night with a first so incredible you have to see it to believe it. Don't miss Survivor one week from tonight on CBS. So Nate Robinson, his father Jacques was an all-star running back in Washington. As a matter of fact, in 1985, he was the MVP of the Orange Bowl. He was also the MVP of the Rose Bowl. And 82. <laughs> 71 to 62. Taekwon Dean great with the ball. He's got O'Bannon. Miles Garcia running the baseline. Comes off the screen. Guarded by Conroy. Fires. And a foul. 
This one going the other way, Palacios going over the back. Well, Washington doing a much better job now of staking some claim to the real estate in the paint. Trying to seal off the boards and, you know, forcing Louisville to push him off. Palacios with four fouls. And Louisville over the limit. They have 17 fouls, so Williams is back in the game after going out. They checked him for a concussion. He's fine. And he's shooting one and one. Washington 12 of 20 from the free throw line. Seventy-one, sixty-three. Louisville leads, top seed in Washington. Cardinals have led by as many as fourteen, but the Huskies won't go away. As Jamal Williams misses the second free throw. And the one thing you have to do when you make a good defensive stance and you get a free opportunity, you have to capitalize. Washington really digging in defensively right now. That's where they're going to make up this deficit, and that's where they're going to win the ball game. George hops to the basket. Garcia down top. Francisco, five threes. And once again, inside out. Penetration, draw the defense, and kick it outside to the shooters, who in an inside out situation, flow into the shots. Louisville, 11 of 25 from the three point line. In the corner, Simmons. That's a push. And Taekwon Dean has yet another rebound. His eighth. Simmons frustrated right now, took a bad shot. You know, it's difficult to hit threes on a lateral pass. As I mentioned, inside out is where you want to go. Garcia off the dribble, looks for his buddy, catch and shoot. Dean, and this one knocked out of bounds. And it's last touch by the Cardinals. Let's check the CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Three point field goals, Louisville 11 of 26. Get complete game stats at CBSSportsLine.com. They're 11 of 26. Taekwon Dean is 5 of 10. Francisco Garcia is five of eight. So the backcourt has been terrific from the perimeter for the Cardinals. Well, they've hit their number of 10 or more. And again, 18 and 0 when they hit 10 or more from beyond the arc. So it remains to be seen if that holds true. Otis George with the steal. Time starting to work against the Huskies. All top. All four, rather, number one seeds are still alive. George, and he buries one. Look at Otis George. Otis, my man. <laughs> Shooting the jumper off the bounce. 76-63. Inside, Roy. Plays it in. Again, Washington doing the right things now against the zone. As I mentioned before, they'll have to win it on the defensive end. 526 to play in the second half. 76-65. Hundred dollars cash back. Three times a sweep. Active coaches who have led three teams to the Sweet 16. Well, again, obviously Bill Self is home watching the other three are alive and Rick Patino trying to move on to the Elite Eight and his team is doing a terrific defensive job against a high scoring team second in the nation in scoring and with 515 left in the game Washington only has 65 points and Miles travels in the backcourt great pressure by the Huskies Huskies are shooting 43 percent from the field 24 of 56 on the season they're a 48 percent shooting team averaging 87 points per game and the flip side of it is Washington getting that turnover you know that's the defensive end where they're going to win this game they don't have much trouble scoring when they can get possession Conroy looks inside throws it away knocked away by O'Bannon now Taekwon in the front court and a region foul ball against Will Conroy but Will Conroy he's a senior but he's starting to sense it is ticking away the time and his opportunity he makes a bad decision in trying to split the defenders with a pass on the offensive end and then a foul that wasn't necessary on the defensive end. You got to play D. It's not about gambling. It's about making stops. Taekwon Dean, 17 points, eight rebounds. You know, you foul a guy like Taekwon Dean in that situation. He's 82% free throw shooters. It's like giving them points. And the last thing that Washington wants to do is give points away. 
at 14 points, six rebounds against Georgia Tech. As the second, under five to go, 78 to 65. And Louisville pick it up full court. Now they back up and get into the zone. Huskies, Lenny, have to hit a couple of three-point shots to make them get out of it. Roy inside, though, lays it in. Well, I'm not so sure. I mean, right now, they're doing a nice job of getting it on the short corners inside the sweet spot of the zone. Their problem is they can't stop anybody. They've got to be able to stop Louisville in several trips in succession and then muster up some, some offense. Garcia to O'Bannon. O'Bannon off the bounce. And a whistle. Foul called against Washington. All right, let's take a look at the bracket here in Albuquerque. Washington, Louisville, the winner takes on the winner of Texas Tech, West Virginia, our second game, a 6-7. And in Chicago, Illinois leading Milwaukee, Arizona, Oklahoma State. That should be a terrific game. In Syracuse, Carolina, Nova. Nova playing without Curtis Sumter, one of their best players. Wisconsin, NC State. Julius Hodge has been terrific. Duke and the Spartans, they met earlier this year. Michigan State almost beat them. Utah and Kentucky. Well, that Duke-Michigan State game will absolutely be, you know, one of the most exciting and suspenseful games. Michigan State on a roll after defeating Vermont, demonstrating their athleticism. And Duke, there's no grittier, guttier team in America, a team that knows how to execute down the stretch. They don't beat themselves. It would be terrific. J.J. Redick struggling a little bit in the tournament with his shot. Yeah, but they win. But that means that, uh, Other you know, guys, Daniel somebody's going to break out. That's right. Ewing Williams stepping up. Nate Robinson has four fouls for Washington. He picked it up on the other end. Williams heads to the line. Ellis Miles has now picked up his fourth. And Jamal with a sensational performance. 17 points. Gets the first free throw next Thursday. Without a trace returns with a startling new episode and a secret you won't believe. Don't miss a new Without a Trace Thursday after CSI. When you look at Jamal Williams again, we talked about him, a transfer from New Mexico, has acquitted himself extraordinarily well, obviously accustomed to playing on this floor. But he has been primarily the inside presence for the Washington Huskies, something that's absolutely necessary in breaking that 2-3 zone. Possession error on the favor of the Cardinals. Dean Garcia in the backdoor, Miles. Bounce pass, beautifully done, O'Bannon. And we've seen Otis George handle the ball. We just saw Miles handle the ball. And Taekwon Dean is hurt. Taekwon Dean writhing in pain. And it looks like it's the right leg. Let's take a look at what happened. You take a look at Dean receive right here in the lower right of your corner. He throws it up, and it looks like he just came down awkwardly. They have stepped on the foot. Of uh, a Husky. And this could potentially be a devastating blow for Louisville. Taekwon Dean, not only a great scorer, but in this tournament, he's doing an excellent job rebounding. And he can't put a lot of pressure on that right leg. Hopefully he can walk it off. And now he's got him in track, so it's good to see him get up off the deck. Let's take a look at the game summary. Three point shooting the key for the Bill. 11 of 26, and they're also out rebounding Washington by eight. And again, it's the Louisville defense and the foul trouble for the Huskies that's pretty much limited them offensively. Remember, they're the number two scoring team in the nation, averaging about 87 points a game. And at this point, with four minutes left, they're at 68. Now, that doesn't mean they won't reach their number because they're an explosive team. But the Louisville change of defenses, half-court pressure, 2-3 zone has really stymied Washington, forced them to take a lot of time before they get a shot off. Conroy down the lane, and a foul called against the Cardinals. 3.49 to play, second half, 81-68 Louisville. Eighty-one sixty-eight, and the report on Taekwon Dean. His legs are cramping up. They also checked his ankle, but looks like he's going to be okay. Looks like he got retaped.
349 remaining in the second half. Louisville up 81-68. Taekwon Dean went down a couple of minutes ago, but the report from the Louisville bench, he has cramps in his legs. They also checked his ankle. Looked like they retaped it as well. And he looks to be okay. Conroy at the line. Now, don't forget, the game's coming up next here in Albuquerque, West Virginia, Texas Tech, in Chicago, Arizona, Oklahoma State, a two versus a three. Boy, what a matchup in the backcourts. Oklahoma State, John Lucas III, James Ong Curry, and Salim Stoudemire and Mustafa Shakur for Arizona. You know, you talk about some ball handling and some ability to shoot deep. 81-70. Washington is trailed by as many as 14. Lead pass stolen, Nate Robinson. He went up high. Louisville stays in the zone. Ball batted away. And O'Bannon with the steal. O'Bannon of the basket and flushes it. The Huskies have turned it over two or three times, trying to pass the ball from the top of the key through the two defenders at the top of the key. Well, that's a mistake. You've got to be able to attack off the dribble if you're going to attack the gaps, especially at the top, and especially at this point in the game where you can ill afford those turnovers. You want to pass the ball side to side, get those top guys spread, and then look to attack the gap off the bounce. Real five to play. Robinson lets a three go. Oh, missed it badly. Bobby Jones there. Banks it home. And a timeout called by the Huskies. 83-72. 257 to go in the second half. All right, we reset it for you. Both teams with a couple of timeouts. Each team shooting in the one and one. Well, an 11-point deficit is still not time to panic for Washington, but they've got to step up their defense. We talk about their ability to cut off passing lanes and deny, and now they've got some full court pressure applied right here. Garcia, O'Bannon, Miles to the basket, nice pass. George lays it in. And Gus, we discussed it before, the ability of the Louisville big men to handle the ball so well really negates the press. Ellis Miles just terrific off the bounce and creating for us. Conroy for three. 10-point game. Do the Huskies have to start thinking about the three-point shot now every time down? No, you still want to play within your game. If the shot presents itself, you take it. If you get a quick two opportunity, you take that as well. But it still comes down to they need more possessions. They've got to turn Louisville over or make Louisville shoot the ball quickly and get the rebound and come back down. 225 to go. Palacios ready to throw it in bounds. He's got O'Bannon, Garcia, Miles, and Dean. Huskies need turnovers. Dean back in the game after the leg cramps. Now Palacios showing his handle. Miles, O'Bannon. And once again, trigger man, Ellis Miles gets the ball three on one. That's his sixth assist. He came into this game with 115. Hayden Robinson continues to struggle offensively. He's one of seven from the field. And Miles is fouled, bringing it up the floor. See, I think Washington starts settling for the threes much too early. Too early. Much too early. You know, it's a 12-point deficit right now. A few minutes ago, it was 9 or 11. You still have enough possessions in there to keep going for the quick twos instead of the long-range, lower-percentage three. So Miles, and for a man that is six feet seven, 245 pounds, not only a very good rebounder, but a terrific passer. Next Thursday, Survivor returns to its regular night with a first so incredible, you have to see it to believe it. Don't miss Survivor one week from tonight on CBS. Here's the line on Ellis Miles, five points, 11 rebounds, six assists, as he gets the second.
Conroy straight away. Miles with another rebound is 12. Louisville going after their eighth trip to the final four. Conroy with the steal. He takes the three. Garcia with the rebound. And it goes off of his knee and out of bounds. And Washington, oh, for the last three or four possessions with opportunities to explore inside. See, shooting the three, you either make it or miss it. You go for the quick two, you might even draw a foul. Louisville was upset because they were a number four seed. They're turning heads right now. 75, Cardinals with the lead, a minute and 33 seconds away from advancing to the Elite Eight. The Red Bird is chirping right now because Louisville is a minute and 33 away from heading into the Elite Eight. Rick Pitino, one of the great coaches in America. And a win by the Cardinals could set up a potential matchup between two of the great coaches in all of college basketball if Texas Tech is somehow able to get by West Virginia. Coach Pitino against the general, Bob Knight. And that would be kind of like a old school matchup. Well, you don't look at Rick Fatino and think about old school. His hair is not even gray, but well, he's got a little salt pepper in there. Rick's been around for a <laughs> while. You know, he's one of those coaches again that's got Hall of Fame potential written all over him. And he's done a masterful job here at allowing his team to control tempo. Washington seized it for a moment, but more than not, the Louisville Cardinals use that 2 3 zone. To their advantage, slowing the Huskies down, but commanding the boards, getting out the fast break, and then breaking the pressure here down the stretch when necessary. Taekwon Dean. Little Gippy limping now. Garcia cut off. Louisville working the clock now. Francisco off the bounce. Beautiful. Francisco Garcia will not be returning to Louisville after this season. He's already made it known that he will be heading to greener pastures in professional basketball after his junior year. And the Chevrolet most viable players of the game, Francisco Garcia, terrific. He continues to heat up the tournament, 23 points. Jamal Williams, a nice job for the Huskies. In the corner, Roy. O'Bannon going up high and a foul. Bobby Jones got him. Well, this is major redemption for this Louisville team. Last year, you know, they had a lead. They were taken out ultimately by Xavier in the second round. Felt really badly the fact that they gave up that lead. And guys like Taekwon Dean and Francisco Garcia, who kind of disappeared in that game, they were in the main stage today. And check this out, Louisville, with their 34-31-4 and four record. It's their best record since the 1982-83 season, when they were 32-4, and four, went to the Final Four, lost to Houston. Guess where? Here? Yes. <laughs> in Albuquerque. And that whole game was played... Above the whim, Clyde Drexler, Akeem Olajuwon for Houston. O'Bannon gets the first. So Louisville, we will advance them with 56 seconds to go, and they will take on the winner of Texas Tech, West Virginia, 6-7 matchup following this game. It's been a terrific season for the Washington Huskies. Number one seed, Pac-10 regular season and tournament title. Sweet 16 appearance, a little disappointing right now for Lorenzo Romar, but Coach Romar just such a positive man, such a great chess master when it comes to coaching his team, and they will be back. Well, again, obviously last year, Huskies were shocked in the second round by UAB. This year, they took it one step further. So you can look at the progress that Lorenzo Romar has made. You know, he's still going to have a nucleus here. Brandon Roy is going to be around, Nate Robinson around. We talk about Jamal Williams and what he was able to do. You know, Lorenzo, he's not done yet. 
Washington. 40.5 to go. High fives all around for the Cardinals. One more win as Francisco Garcia checks out. One more win.